What's up and welcome back to the Shiny Rico channel. Now today I'm going to show you a different version of Pendulum Magicians that we can all play and enjoy. Now this one is going to be the standard 7 negate combo. Now someone did request this deck profile and I'm sorry I didn't see it immediately because I was at work. But it's been a long time since you've requested it and I didn't see and I apologize. So this is going to be it. No, this is going to be the standard 7 negate halabaloo broken combo that no one plays and I don't know why. But no one likes the bricks. You have to play the bricks to play the deck. High risk, high reward. No, it's for a deck profile. First off, the main man, he's back, Astrograph. I don't really need to say any more. I think everyone knows what he does. By the way, there are some persons on the impression he's a hard once per turn. He's not. So if your point ashes it, you can do it again the same turn. He's not a hard once per turn. He is just at one. Next one up, triple double iris. One celestial magician. Then we have best girl. Triple harmonizing. One white wing. We have one noble dragon magician. And of course for last tuner. Tuning Magician. This is the standard lineup. You are not required to play a Noble Dragon. It's only there just because it's a level 3 or lower. Just the mere fact that Halky Fibrex can summon it. And it's a free body. Because just by having the body on the board makes a difference. For the rest of the Magicians, we have Triple Oath. Self explanatory on Oath. Pit and Shanky. Pit is going to be extremely important because skill drain and he's your out. Apart from that, we have Triple Revolution Dragon, Triple Dark Worm, Two Gate Zero. We have Luster Pendulum, and that's it for your dragon stuff. For the non pendulum monsters, ex excluding Tuning, obviously, we have one Codebreaker Zero Day. One Phantom Knight Ancient Cloak and one Silent Boots. Boots is the best Phantom Knight. He searches for everything. Um, Codebreaker, you just require to play one to do the combo, nothing else. It doesn't matter if it's in your deck, grave or hand, you can do the combo. Um, PKs, you have to play Boots. This is not mandatory, but for the specific combo that I'm going to show at the end of the video, you have to play the one cloak. In other words, it gives you a free negate just by playing this one card. The aim is not to draw them, obviously. The aim is for them to stay in the deck, and you'll do the combo. The combo is pretty easy to perform, and is completely devastating for the end result for what it, the requirement was. It's really cheap, and it wins a lot of duel easily. Because most persons aren't prepared for it, and if they don't know what to stop, you most likely will get away with murder. We have... Triple Duelist Alliance, Triple Pen Call, Call By, Foolish, just ordinary stuff that you should be playing. Then we have Star and Time Pendulum Graph. Then we have the Rank Up and Shade Brigadine. These are the main deck. I don't think I need to explain everything here. Everyone should be familiar with these. If you're not sure what the Rank Up spell does, it just ranks you up by one. That's all. No, no gimmick to it. For extra deck fusion, we have Vortex, Synchro Herald, Iggy Azalea, 21 Savage, Dank Rebellion, Dank Requiem, Absolute, and that's it for Fusion Synchro Exceed. For the Link Monsters, one across sheep, you're only playing it because in case if something goes wrong, he is an essential combo piece. Now, Hulk, the Codebreakers, and then, I apologize, let me bring over some more so we can all see on my new mattress. Apologies, the sheet. <laughs> now, we have Apoloso, Double Selena Gomez, and Rusty. Rusty is MVP for the combo. He is what makes the combo live. Now, I'm going to do the combo for everyone. 
All right, guys, I'm going to explain the combo for everyone. Now, this is going to require a three card combo. And this is the reason why we're required to play Cloak, because I don't want to play the next version because it would require us to start off with four cards. Now, the combo plays through Nibiru, and I'm going to show you playing through Nibiru to show you that Nibiru doesn't really matter. Um, so first of all, I didn't want, actually, no, for the first video, I'm just going to play normal, just so you guys can see what the combo is. But if you'd like, just tell me and I'll show you what you do in case you get Nibiru, which is going to be the exact same thing. It doesn't affect you, you're going to end on seven negates with these three cards. And you just need Pen Call plus Dark Worm and any high scale magician or Oaf, because Oaf is going to be in low scale. Pen Call Dark Worm. I get to add harmonizing plus off, dark worm effect, summon back itself. Next effect, you get to add gate zero. You can immediately scale up. This doesn't affect anything. Normal summon harmonizing and link. We're going to first go into Halky Fibrax effect, into some of the tuning from deck, and then I link up into. Selena Gomez. I'll have three counters. Removing three. Someone back tuning. And link up into Apollosa. The reason why we did this is just so that we can't get Nibiru. No other reason. But even if they Nibiru, we could still do it anyways. We're going to use Oath to get back our harmonizing. And now it's time to pendulum someone. Now I'm going to show you one of the cheapest combos to ever exist. One of the most dirtiest combos ever. You'll use the harmonizing effect to get a level 7 from your deck. It doesn't matter what the level 7 is. You just need one. From here. I actually accidentally summoned this in the wrong spot. We can summon it in... No. What? I don't remember if I'm going to have to pop this. Because we're going to need a field presence. Alright, anyways, we're going to exceed into our absolute. And then we're going to link. With both. What we're going to go into is Codebreaker Swordsman. What Swordsman does is that I get to summon 0D from the deck. And of course, we'll use our absolute effect to get Vortex on the field for free. So we're just multitasking. I think I made a slight mistake. No, I didn't make a mistake. I just have to get rid of both of these to get this on the field. It's not even going to do anything. I just needed the space. Link with both. And we're going to go into Berserker. Berserker effect. Monster Reborn. Not only the Swordsman, but as well the Zero Ding. I'll link with both of these. My apologies as I did this in the incorrect zones. Into Rusty. Rusty's effect. I'm going to send Cloak to set our Shade Brigadine. Now it doesn't matter if you drew Cloak or not, I'm going to let you know that this cannot search the spell. So if you drew Cloak, um, you can still do the combo, but be warned, you'd have to set the spell and get rid of Cloak so you can get the trap. But anyways, we can continue. We can activate and exceed, it doesn't change anything if we do it early. We could have also used this to pop the harmonizing to get it off the field. Just by summoning it here. So we could have done that. Just if you wanted. It doesn't affect where you summon it. Use the cloak, banish, get boots, boots special itself. And we have harmonizing in grave. So we'll get a free synchro summon into Herald of the Arc Light. We'll use Boots effect, manage itself, and we'll get our rank up. So in the event we get um, Dark Ruler, it's not the end of the world. Like, 
everybody's going to die, of course, yeah. But on the bright side is that you're still going to have three negates. So we'll use the rank up, we'll get to banish a dark monster here. High preference for gate zero, as it's not going to do anything for the rest of the game. And we go into this here. So, if your opponent actually doesn't open Dark Ruler, it's going to be seven interruptions. Actually, eight. Isn't it eight? Um, two monster negates. Three monster negates. That's five monster negates in total. Um, these two negate anything. So that's seven. And if your opponent actually just loosely summoned a monster, if they didn't have Dark Ruler, Rusty would pop. So that's eight interruptions. Yeah, coming off the three cards. It's a devastating combo, but most persons don't play it. I don't know why. They're more interested in what Trift plays, and I'm not. So yeah, this is the combo. Rate, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think about the combo down below. Um, before I end the video, I'm going to tell you the strengths and weaknesses of the combo. The strength is that it's completely overpowering. Um, you get literally six interruptions by doing the standard combo without even, even if you break and didn't find everything, the only card here would be missing its vortex. So as long as you find the two level sevens, you're going to get the vortex along with everything else because everything else was searched by the deck. Um, the drawbacks are it consumes a lot of your extra deck. I only have three cards remaining. Well, technically I could have had four if I... Uh, Kept my harmonizing out of the wrong zone. But yeah, it consumes a lot of your extra deck. And the thing is to it, because I'm not playing the version that negates Dark Ruler, you lose the Dark Ruler. self explanatory on that. But um, they still have to face this, even if the Dark Ruler, which is three negates, it negates and destroys. So a lot of times I would still win. I've never lost when I've succeeded on the combo. Never, not even once. Which logically makes sense. I'm literally giving them seven interruptions. Actually, that was eight. Most person's not going to play through that. Like, I have more interruptions than the card they start off with. This is a death sentence, right? So the combo is devastating. You're going to win. But I don't want you to be like, oh, Shiner Echo told me the combo is always going to work. Then you get sphere mode and you'd be like, what, he, he didn't tell me this. Like, obviously, it's going to work, but as in if your opponent finds the universe, they do. Like, I've lost with this deck to Nibiru, because they had Nibiru and Imperm. So don't feel like you're just going to lose any and everything, but they have to, they can't just find one card out. Um, if you want the version that negates the Dark Ruler, it's fine, I can give you that one. But, like, the Dark Ruler, it's almost guaranteed that your opponent's going to side it in, but... It's not guaranteed that you're going to lose to it. Like they have to draw the damn card. Um, majority of these you don't have to draw. Random monsters can just collectively give you this ward. Alright, that's it from me guys. Tell me what you guys think down below. Rate, comment, subscribe and I'm out. Peace.